Hey YouTube, Mystic Raven back here. This is part two of Hummingbird Feeder. Um, basically, what what I'm going to let you know off the bat, um, I had a little bit of difficulty with the wired hanger. It being so thick, um, it was pretty difficult, but I did do it. Look, this is how it looks. Um, basically what I did, uh, I forgot to tell you in the first video, you're going to need scissors for this. But, um, I also wanted to let you know, I, were the spiral at the end, not the hook, but the spiral at the end of the hanger, I took it off. It made me a poker, basically. And, um, a good thing is you can use picture wire, picture hanger wire, um, you can use that as well. But, basically what, what I did with this is the ability to basically push this through and I'll show you and what it'll do is it'll go through and there you go see look it hangs and what I'll do is from there um, you use some string to put on here and hang up you know you could put a long piece or a short piece it doesn't matter um, but what I'm going to show you real quick is how I'm going to do this. Um, I've already cut everything, everything's pre-cut, so I'll just show you basically and then you can take it from there. Um, this is the top of the food container. That's what I did. See, I can see you through it. Yes, I can. But... <laughs> That's what I did. See how the holes are smaller for the thing? If you want, you can make them a little bit bigger, which I'll do. I'm going to show you how to make them bigger because I want them to be big enough to where they can, um, the, uh, hummingbirds can actually get in there. But what I did was I found some small scissors. They're actually hair scissors, but they work great for stuff like this. So I cut out my hole. It already had the lines, remember I told you? And um, what I did was I just poked poked three ho or four holes. And what I'm doing right now is just building bigger holes. So you just take it through, push it all the way through, and just build the holes. Building the holes. Now you'll see whenever you look at them, they're a lot bigger. See? And then um, what I did with the container with the red is I actually, like I said, look, I even tied it. It's no glue at all. I actually just wrapped it around. I tied it once, wrapped it over the, um, the extra piece, and kept wrapping it around, and then tied where I wrapped over that piece I tied the end then what I did was um, you can use a file you don't have to it's not recommended um, but what I did was I took the poker that I made and I poked a hole in the top see poked a hole now see how it's smaller but what I did was um, I gradually made it a little bit bigger by actually doing that with it heated. Um, I heated this up, poked it through, once it went through I heated it again and continued to open up the hole. Once you get the hole big enough, um, I took the pair of scissors and just gradually kept twisting it over over my scissors. So you just gradually keep twisting it down, 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 as big as you, you know, to however big you want it there. I'm going to keep it like that because it's a big enough hole um, for the water to, to go in. And it'll give me time to fill it up and flip it over. But So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to start off uh, by telling you how you're going to be putting it together. What I'm going to do, you can either wait until after you've filled your bottle and put the, um, I'll show you now anyway. Here's this. 
all you do is make sure that it's to the point where it snaps on see how the lip here the lip is inverted to the place where it snaps in on the container you want to make sure that the bottom that's going to be inside of the container is going to be facing up what you do is you poke that through you want it snug you do want it snug so it does seal so you'll hear it click a couple times there you go make sure it's on there good enough see how I have it then what you want to do is take your bottle cap with the hole and screw it tightly on top there that's after you've filled this remember don't do this beforehand but um, you want to fill that up with your sugar water and do that then what you want to do is keep it up because if you do it like this then all your water is going to come out so what you do is you do that and you seal your container a little bit of difficult here this is just going to show that it's going to be a really really good seal once you get hear that pop once you hear that pop there's your container you flip it over let it dump in you can wrap your hanger around here um, and do it afterwards to get it up I like the way that I did it because I can actually pop it in place see you can add anything you want here um, I'm actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of red uh, red cord here hanging off so it tracks whatever you know tracks the hummingbird oh and I didn't mention in my last video um, I might have I don't know but don't use red dye uh, you don't want to use any type of red dye just use plain sugar water um, you want to make sure that the, the sugar is uh, dissolved Blech. what I'll do is um, I'm gonna post uh, it's not exact days but uh, basically I'm gonna post in the bottom here how many days you want to um, depending on the degrees outside how many days that, uh, that you'll want to wait to change your water out or your sugar water you don't want to um, like I said, if it becomes milky white or if there are any mold signs, make sure that you change it out because you won't get any hummingbirds. Same thing with ants. If you have any ants crawling on it, you want to you wanna make sure you get rid of those or put an ant trapper up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some sticky stuff on my, my, uh, my, my string here. I'm going to put some sticky stuff on there so if ants do come, they get stuck on this instead of in my my container so anyway um, that's about it uh, I, I know I forgot to mention in the last one that you need scissors but you need scissors and that's it I'm gonna fill this up and go take it outside and see what happens so signing out later